Hey guys, it's Rad and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Today I'm going to show you guys something more technical which is related to map making and which you guys can find really useful especially if you are map makers. So as you saw from the title of the video today guys, I'm going to show you how you can detect for any type of entity when they are on the ground. Now what I mean by this, it's similar to when command blocks can find items on the ground. So items have this really special tag which other entities do not have, which is the on ground tag. So basically, if we create a normal scoreboard, we can name it with any name and we create it as a type of dummy. We can detect when, it, when an item is on the ground by just dropping it. So when I drop it, when it reaches the ground, you can see that it is detected by the command blocks here because it has this on ground tag. This command blocks here specify that the item should be found only when it is on the ground, not when it is in midair. So this system here do not apply to other entities. So something that would be pretty useful, it would be useful to have the on ground tag to snowball. So basically when a snowball reaches the ground, we can detect it and make something happen. Currently there are methods that allow you to detect when a snowball is on the ground. But what I made today, I have invented a new method. I have found out a new method to detect for any type of entity on the ground using just five command blocks and causing just no lag compared to the other methods. So a couple of days ago, when I was making the video that I have published Monday, the one with uh, about shadows, I had to detect when armor stands reached the ground. And sadly, armor stands and all of the other entities do not have the on-ground tag, so there is no way to technically detect when they are on the ground. We can just do it by using, for example, a scoreboard objective. When air is found relative to an armor stand, that scoreboard increases. When the scoreboard do not increase anymore, it means that air is not found under the armor stand. And then using other command blocks, we can finally make something happen. But this method is so laggy. You have, imagine having many of these snowballs here. You have you have scoreboard objectives that are constantly run relative to those snowballs there. You have a timer that is constantly run relative to the snowball and makes everything so much laggy and it's not even precise because you're not detecting when the snowball is on the ground, you are detecting if there isn't air under the snowball basically. So basically what I did, I googled to see if there is a method to detect for armor stands on the ground and I haven't found anything that was different from that method. So I said, let me just find out a way to detect uh, when an armor stand is on the ground, maybe with a different method. And the method that I found out is using again fire. So I have tweeted it also on Twitter. If you guys are not following me on Twitter, you should totally do it because I post a lot of stuff about stuff that I'm working on. So yeah, you will find the link in the description of the video. Fire, I said that is probably my favorite block in Minecraft. So just a couple of weeks ago, maybe not even more than a week ago, using fire mechanics, I have recreated the Floris Lava mini game using like four command blocks. Well, now again, using fire, I have found out a way to detect when an entity is on the ground. So let me show you guys and let me explain how it works. If I stand in midair here and I use this command here, the set block command, and then I want to place a fire block in relative to me, when I hit enter, you can see that it tells me that it placed fire, but the fire, it wasn't actually placed because fire cannot be placed in midair. Look what happens when I get on the ground and I use the same command. You can see that fire is placed. So now you guys maybe started thinking how it works and st started understanding how this thing works. The cool feature that fire has is that it can't be placed in midair when you use a set block or fill command. You can see that nothing happens. It still gives you the output, but the fire is not placed is not actually placed in midair. Fire can only be placed when there is a block underneath it. So basically what I did, it's pretty simple. Relative to this noble here, I have used a command that constantly fills the area around it with fire. So basically, this snowball here has a command that constantly plays fire, but the fire is placed only when the snowball reaches the ground because fire can be placed only when there is a block underneath it. So what I did then, I have just used a execute detect command and detected if there is fire under a snowball and then gave a special tag to that snowball. And that's pretty much it. Now all snowballs that have the tag which I have named ground, well, they will have a creeper summoned relative to them, which will explode instantly. Let me recap it. I launched the snowball. Fire is constantly placed, but it, it only appears when the snowball is on the ground because it has a block underneath it. Then a command block detects if there is uh, fire relative to my snowball. And if there is fire, it gives to my snowball a custom tag. Now, all the snowballs which have this custom tag named ground, well, we can have multiple things happen relative to them. In this case, I just wanted to summon a creeper. Then what I did, relative to the snowball with a tag of ground, I have replaced the, fa the fire with air, so fire do not remain in our world. And then I have just killed the snowball with the tag of ground. And boom, this is how you detect when an entity is on the ground. The cool thing about this, 
is that you can apply it to any type of entities. For example, I have used the same system relative to a bat. So same system, I have used the fill command to place fire relative to a bat and fire is placed only when the bat is on the ground. So using this command block here, I'm going to constantly summon some bats which will explode only when they reach the ground. So you can see that I have also added a really nice particle and these bats here, when they reach the ground, maybe that one, hopefully, yeah, you can see when they reach the ground, they will explode. And for example, using this pretty simple system, I have recreated a meteor system, let's say, let's call it like a meteor system. We can just pretend that these bats here are meteors and they will explode only upon impact with the ground. Come on, can you do it, but it doesn't want to explode. Anyways, so yeah, guys. Using the same system, I have used it, I have applied it to armor stands and basically detected when the armor stands reach the ground to create my shadow uh, relative to, to the position of the sun. I will also link that in a card appearing on the screen uh, if you haven't watched that video already, together with my the floor is lava using fire mechanics. So guys, that was how you detect when an entity is on the ground, an entity different than items. And uh, yeah. If you want to take a look, if you want to make and apply this to your world, I will leave a link in the description of this video. So on my webpage, you will find all the commands in order and you can take this command and apply them to the entities that you want. In this case, you will just have to change type equals bat with any type of entity. So if you want to detect for an armor stand on the ground, you just use armor and then underscore stand. All right, guys, I have changed everything. So now when I place an armor stand, you can see that when it reaches the ground, it explodes and then it disappears. So guys, I hope that this tutorial was useful for you. You can apply it to many other things. You can use your imagination and apply this system to, ma to create many other things. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did so, don't forget to drop a like under it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. And as always guys, thank you all for watching this video until the end and I'll see you all in the next one. See you. Bye.